what I try to do in my message to the group is let's focus on one person at a time because the statistics are staggering. I told the story about my dad who dropped dead at 57 uh, after smoking three packs a day for decades. Uh, I wish I could have had an influence on him and if legislation uh, had a different impact on, on smoking cessation programs or, or the cost of a, a pack of cigarettes, would that have extended my dad's life? I believe it would have. So as far as raising the tax, it's, it's controversial, but you gotta think about why is it controversial? So the people that smoke are gonna see this as another financial burden for something that they have a personal choice in doing. But that personal choice is affecting all of us. And so there was a, a statistic shared earlier that cost the additional cost uh, burden to our communities for every individual smoker annually and then the productivity impact on the employers. Uh, so this is affecting the cost of goods sold, it's affecting the cost of business, which is our community. By raising the tax, my personal opinion on this is that may be a deterrent for some where they start adding things up and realizing they can't make ends meet and do the things they want to do and they start making those personal choices a little differently if they have the information. So to just raise the tax and not have the smoking cessation programs and all the other support that the Alliance and, and uh, members of the Indian Hospital Association across the state have, we have to make sure people know how to tap into those resources. Just raising the tax is not going to fix it. So some of that burden is on us as well uh, to make sure that uh, we're doing our part. So when I walk through the lobby of my hospital, uh, whether it's the one in Mishawaka or the one in Plymouth or in my history, in the hospitals in Fort Wayne. To look at people in the eye as I'm walking through the lobby, some people are happy because they're there to celebrate the birth of a child or a grandchild. Some people are sad, they're distraught, they're, they're miserable because they just lost a family member or someone close to them. And sometimes that look in the eye is they're upset because they, they feel regret that there's something they could have done different to help that person. Just a couple of days ago we had a situation on our campus where someone passed away and the family it, to see how it ripped brothers apart uh, in the frustration and you didn't do this and you didn't do that and all the accusations meanwhile dad's laying in the bed gone and so when you start thinking about the regret that people have what if we could get them different information and access to reliable resources that we can help people before it's too late. That's something that's really important to me. So part of my message today, again, was focus on pe one person at a time. The image, that image in your head is that one person that you know that smokes, for example. What are you gonna do to help them find the resources to kick that habit? Mm -hmm.